Curry Kancha, originally named Inti Kancha or Intiwazi, is an ancient temple supposedly constructed in dedication of Inti, who was an ancient Incan sun god. However, like many other ancient ruins that can be found all over Earth, particularly within Peru, it hides stonework which is indicative of lost knowledge. Incan architecture built upon much older, far more superior architectural ruins. Located at the old Inca capital of Cusco, the original structure is believed to have been destroyed during a war in the 16th century with the Spanish. However, what remains is enough to clearly indicate that extremely ancient foundations are hidden by a more modern structure. In fact, they are built upon a structure once built by an extremely advanced civilization currently lost somewhere within our distant past. Not only displaying the same enigmatic notches at Ollantaytambo, Yangshan Quarry and many other sites, could these notches have been used for the method of placement? Although rarely shared, Kori Kansha preserves some of the most exquisite ashlar stonework anywhere on Earth, undoubtedly left by this long-lost civilization. Who were these people, capable of such superior stonework so far within the past? How long ago did they flourish? What other amazing things are they waiting to teach us? Coricancha is undoubtedly a remarkable place. When the Incas presumably re-inhabited this unexplained habitation, the gold, which coated many of the statues and walls, preserved until the Spanish invaded in 1532. The Spanish colonists built the Church of Santo Domingo on the site. A declaration that almost accompanied with destruction is seemingly more honest than the Incas' original claim of ownership. Another structure that not only displays unexplainable stone working techniques, but reinforces our accusation that many ancient cultures, not just the Incas, are guilty of stealing an intimidating heritage from a long-lost advanced civilization for their own gains. The more modern ruins of the ancient temple were seemingly built using andesite stone, tracked down to quarries in Wakato, located around 7 kilometers from Cusco. However, the structure also features walls of diorite, these being the original workmanship, this according to a number of independent researchers who indeed confirm that the diorite structure is what's left of the first temple. Who built these amazing structures, found not only dotted all over Peru, but also the Earth? How did these amazing people know about constructing earthquake-proof architecture so far within our past? And maybe, most importantly, why does academia ignore them so? Questions we feel demand answers. Coricancha is undoubtedly a very amazing, very ancient place. And the more we learn regarding these sites, the closer we become to the genius of their builders. So, today is update time. Dr. Sam Osmanagic, please tell us about the connection of the Bosnian pyramids to the cosmic internet. It's been since 2005 that we started the Bosnian Pyramid Project. It started as archaeological digging, but then we expanded to interdisciplinary scientific project. Then, due to the energy properties that we've been investigating, that was the third aspect. And then we got spiritual aspect and self-healing aspect we realized that pyramids are actually huge energy amplifiers using existing natural energy sources. This past week, Dr. Samir Osmanagish has returned from a 22-day expedition into the Cambodian jungle as a member of a controversial team exploring the underbelly of the Koh Kir pyramid that has been discovered within the jungles. It was not initially made publicly clear what his work involved, or indeed if it was connected to his extensive and extremely controversial studies of the pyramids within Bosnia. However, upon his return to the Bosnian site, he has revealed what he has been quietly confirming. Structural similarities have been discovered beneath the Great Pyramids, characteristics which he believes will lead to a shift in our understanding of the function of all pyramids here on Earth. A few months ago, we shared with you a video regarding the countless testimonies of people from all over the world 
who have experienced strange energy surges and beams of light when in the presence of these grand, ancient buildings. He is now convinced that the Bosnian, along with the Kokir Pyramid, contain all the characteristics needed to form some sort of free energy machine. The pyramid's geometry, orientation towards the sides of the world, application of the sacral elements, the design of the water flows beneath them, the passages under the pyramids, and the large presence of iron are all designated sources for an electromagnetic generator. The first 10 days of May 2017, Osmanigich spent in Tibet. Besides visiting the Buddhist temples, his goal was also to visit the pyramidal mountain Kailash. The tour takes three days, and during which the distance covers a grueling 54-kilometer terrain, reaching almost 5,650 meters in altitude. Now, back in Bosnia, the director of the Archaeological Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun Foundation will host, together with a doctor, a group of 130 distinguished guests from Egypt, India, China, and other noted nations in a series of four seminars regarding his finds. Dr. Asmanagish claims on the surface of, and underneath, the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun, archaeological digs have also found quartz crystals. The crystal is present in the underground tunnels also. A Finnish researcher, called Mika Virparanta, has also found 26 volcanic lines leading to the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. Mr. Asmanagish believes his research also shows the importance of the location of the pyramids in Vesoko. He said, my research and arguments that the pyramids were built worldwide, and that the oldest pyramids are also the most superior ones, has led to situations where Egyptologists have created a wall of hostility towards me. Our evidence which indicates that the oldest and highest quality concrete on Earth can be found at the Pyramid of the Sun, and the existence of the large network of prehistoric tunnels, has resulted in written petitions being sent to the European Archaeological Association fighting against our research being made public. However, time and scientific arguments confirm that we were right and they were wrong. He also supports the ancient alien theory. He added, Life originated thanks to an intervention on our planet. Species on Earth change in the long term through experiments, where evolution plays a minor role. Yet Homo sapiens are the result of genetic engineering and, of course, we are not the first nor the most advanced civilization in the history of the planet." End quote. I will keep you all posted. Hi guys, so today I wanted to share with you an amazing story. It's about a very bright 15-year-old young lad named William Godori. He has found something archaeologists have missed for centuries. The young lad often wondered why Mayan cities were not located near rivers and seemed to be randomly plotted. This is where the boy made a miraculous discovery. He realized that the ancient ruins aligned with star constellations above, and by using Google Earth, he managed to match up 117 ancient Mayan ruins with star constellations, even discovering a set of three stars the Mayans clearly held in high regards that we were unaware of previously. I did not understand why the Maya built their cities away from rivers, on marginal lands and in the mountains. Gadori told French-Canadian magazine Journal de Montreal. They had to have another reason, and as they worshipped the stars, the idea came to me to verify my hypothesis. I was really surprised and excited when I realized that the most brilliant stars of the constellations match the largest Maya cities. By plotting these star locations, William has seemingly discovered the ruins of a very ancient pyramid, accompanied by a city in ruins, untouched by humans for over a thousand years. As Daniel Delisle from the Canadian Space Agency told Samuel Osborne at The Independent, the satellite images revealed certain linear features on the forest floor that looked anything but natural. There are enough items to suggest it could be a man-made structure, he said. Godori has tentatively named the lost city Kaakchi, meaning fire mouth, and will be working with researchers from the Canadian Space Agency to get his discovery published in a peer-reviewed journal. He'll also be presenting his findings at Brazil's International Science Fair in 2017. However, in a strange development, a scientist, supposedly, quote, familiar with this Mexican region where the odd city-like features have been discovered, says at least one of them is an abandoned cornfield. How he knows this is unknown. We visited them, and my grad students know them quite well. 
anthropologist Joffrey E. Braswell from the University of California, San Diego's Mesoamerican Archaeology Laboratory told George Dvorsky at Gizmodo. Whether this is an attempt at concealing the finds from the public is unknown, but it is sure to put a halt to a public disclosure of all of Godori's finds at Brazil's science fair. There are indeed confirmed lost Mayan cities in this region, two only being discovered last year. One was a completely new find, while the other was a rediscovery, a confirmation of reports of its existence. With the young man coming up with such a compelling theory, complete with confirmed hypothesis, and ruins being confirmed as dotting the 1800 square mile region of jungle, you have to wonder how specialists can shrug such positive leads off from such a bright young person without further investigation, whether withheld from public scrutiny or not. As always, thanks for watching guys, take care.